Nouveau TV on a historical day, the day that Jennifer Lopez gets immortalized on Hollywood Boulevard with her very own star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. We have front row seats to all the action. Katy Perry, part of me, the world premiere. Please note the pink carpet. Yeah, it's a party out here. And the celebration kicks off with a special live performance by Katy Perry herself on Hollywood Boulevard, which launches the Pepsi Billboard Summer Beats concert series. Let's hit the pink carpet and see what else we can catch. I'm Claudia Rusty in Hollywood for the world premiere of Marvel's The Avengers, which pretty much stars every cool person in Hollywood. This will be the superhero movie of the year. I'm Claudia Rusty. We're live at the red carpet premiere of Disney's 50th animated feature Tangled and we'll be talking to many celebrities we'll see who's willing to let their hair down and loosen up. Hi I'm Claudia Resti for iHeartRadio coming to you from the Hollywood premiere of what to expect when you're expecting and what I'm expecting tonight is a pretty busy carpet. How is it possible that you didn't already have this checked off your list? <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't, listen I'm just happy to be here I'm, I feel so privileged and blessed and fortunate to experience something like this in my life. Somebody said to me yesterday, I feel like this is the beginning of, of the rest uh, of your life tomorrow. Like it's just starting. I feel the same way. Like it's just the beginning. If the only muscle you're exercising is your thumb, you need to toss that remote and pay attention because here's an alternative that's healthier and a lot more fun. Alani, a Disney resort and spa on the island of Oahu. This amazing place is located on the western side of the island in the Koalina Resort and Marina. In 1988, Irvine residents passed the open space agreement which resulted in 16,000 acres of beautifully preserved open spaces like this one throughout the city of Irvine. Day two here in paradise at Alani on the island of Oahu, and boy, do we have some adventures planned for today. And in true Disney spirit, there's something, activities and adventures for everyone, kids, teens, adults, everyone. These students showed up here today to learn all about money, how to make it, manage it, and lead a financially successful life. This is a serto. It's a traditional Greek dance dance at many weddings and throughout Greece. All right, guys, I'm cutting myself off. No more food and wine for me for the rest of the day, but you can have as much as you want at the second annual LA Food and Wine Festival, August 9th through 12th. This intersection behind me is not a busy one, so it's not surprising that Sarah would see the flashing walk sign and assume that she was safe to cross the street. Garden Grove police searched for this man, seen here stealing $1,800 from Anthony and Jennifer Smith's wedding gift table at the Garden Room, a local banquet facility. Three years after the crime, investigators believe that Steve Cadlick is the wedding crasher bandit, but the ID came from an unusual source. We got a phone call, um, I believe last week or the week before, um, from a woman that stated she knew who he was and that he was locked up in Riverside County Jail. Our investigators found that he had been recently released from jail in Riverside and was on probation for commercial burglary. Brides everywhere can sleep better now that the bandit's been caught, but why would a mystery woman sell him out? It could have been his ex-wife, it could have been you know, somebody that he angered, it could have been a lot of different things. I'm thankful that she did because that's how he was caught. Garden Grove police say that Stephen Cadlick said I do in this very chapel where years later he returned to steal from a bride and groom. He's really taken away, you know, a, a, putting a, a bad mark on, a, on a, what's supposed to be a great day. Unless Cadlick posts bail, he will remain in custody waiting to be arraigned. In Garden Grove, this is Claudia Resti reporting. I'm Claudia Resti with a Channel 3 News update. A 70-year-old woman is stabbed in Anaheim in what may be part of an ongoing dispute between neighbors. What we understand happened was that uh, the woman happened to be in front of her house uh, on the porch area for, for some unknown reason. Her next-door neighbor, an 18-year-old man, came over and started stabbing her. She said it was unprovoked. She doesn't know what led up to it. Anaheim police are searching for Alfredo Gonzalez in connection with the stabbing. He is described as an 18-year-old Latino, about 5'9", weighing between 160 to 180 pounds, brown hair, brown eyes, and was last seen wearing a white shirt. 
He's a documented gang member and is believed to be dangerous. Our detectives are uh, looking for anybody uh, that may have been in the area. If there's somebody that saw what took place either at the time or immediately following, we do ask that they call our detectives at 714-765-1944.